with the same arm that I want to post, and it's the same arm that I want to wrap around his hip. So I got to kind of be, I, I want to get this arm, right, one side drag, I want to get this arm over that way. It's got to be a habit of going over his back, okay? That's, that's something that you got to build into yourself here. I come up, and then I'm, I'm like this. Sometimes I'll even take my forearm and I'm pushing on his triceps, or his, his arm. Hit. But I'm just going to lazily throw this arm this way right now, okay? What's gonna happen is, is he's gonna sit towards me to butterfly guard, right? And then I'll tell you to freeze. Like, sit towards me, buddy. Like, to butterfly guard, not that way. Yeah, that way. So I need to look towards his feet. If you look towards his head, you're gonna land on your neck and it's gonna hurt like crazy and you're gonna neck crank yourself while his weight's on your head. I look this way, I try and think of going outside of his hips. So I'm like this. No way I didn't hurt my head at all. Right back to the foot on the floor is my stopping position and then connect your hands. Again, so I'm here, the advanced guy's like, no, he sits the butterfly, and I just go with him, stop on the floor, trying. Keep paying attention to my left leg. You'll see how, like, every time, right, my left leg stomps and slides back into place with that triangle, all right? All right, so it's like normal. I do this game a lot too, guys. I prefer two on one and half guard, whether I just throw, or whether I'm bragging, right? Yeah, but don't let your hip come to me. So like I'm bragging, he rolls back, you know. Lock. Get your grip or back in the knee. That make sense? Roll through, catch the splits if you want. Ready, set. <laughs> <laughs>